Hello, my name is Keshwani. S K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GMAT. We have been solving GMAT math problems out of this book here, GMAT Review, the official guide, the 13th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 285. Page 285, please. Turn to page 285, please. Problem number 119. The penultimate problem on the page, the second to the last problem on the page, is the same problem that we did yesterday. It's the same problem that we did yesterday. And by yesterday, I mean day number 154, or rather day number 156. Today is our lesson number 158. It's the same problem that we did on day number 156, except we're going to do it with a second method. Exact same, exact same problem, but just a little bit of different way of looking at it. So let's see what we can do here. So we have a, we have a semicircle here that is, that is given to us, PQR. We are told that, uh, uh, we, we, we are asked here, what's the length of the diameter P to R? And what I explained yesterday, and again, one more time, when I say yesterday, I mean day number 156. Well, well, what we learned yesterday is that if you have a circle, and if you were to draw a diameter, and if you were to draw triangles such as these, all of these triangles make 90 degrees. They are all 90 degrees triangles. Therefore, this is 90 degrees, even though we are not told that. They just assume that we know that. So let's get going then. Here's the solution. Let P to Q be X. P to Q is X. And Q to R be Y. Q to R be Y. So in triangle, in triangle P, Q, S, P, Q, S, this, this part is what I'm calling S, S here. It's, it's something that is not in the book. We are giving it a name. We are calling this point S. Oh, this is even worse than before. PQS. In triangle PQS, X squared plus 2 squared would equal A squared. Because X, X squared, which is the hypotenuse, will equal 2 squared plus A squared. Similarly, in triangle Q R S or rather S Q R S Q R in that triangle the hypotenuse is Y. Y squared would equal 2 squared plus B squared. Well, so far so good. In triangle P Q R, in triangle P Q R, if you have not watched day number 156. It might be a good idea actually to watch that video also because a lot of the things that are similar and I'm not, not, I'm not going into too much details right now. In triangle PQR, which is a large triangle, this, since this, this being 90 degrees, P to R is the hypotenuse which is A plus B. So A plus B squared equals X squared plus Y squared. But we know what X squared is. X squared is 2 squared plus a squared, so it's 4 plus a squared. Similarly, y squared is 4 plus b squared. Okay, watch what happens. When you open this parenthesis, we get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. We have a squared on both sides of the, of the, of the equation. If you were to subtract a squared from both sides, a squared will drop out. Similarly, if you were to subtract b squared from both sides, b squared will drop out. And we're left with 2ab, 2 times a times b equals 4 plus 4 is 8. And therefore a plus b is 4. So rather a times b is 4. That's it, we're done. a times b is 4. And now we're going to look at our two statements. Okay? I'm going to do it on the top. So this method is, is, is a little bit different than what we did yesterday. And I thought it was worth uh, sharing with you. In the first statement they tell us, that a equals 4. Well, if a equals 4, we know a times b is 4. a times b is 4. That means b equals 4 over a. 4 over a, which is 4. Therefore, b is 1. And once we know that b is 1, we can figure out the diameter. p to r is the diameter, which is just 4 plus 1. 
So the first statement by itself is enough. Similarly, in the second statement they tell us, similarly in the second statement they tell us that b equals 1. Well if b equals 1, a times b is 4. a times b is 4, therefore a is 4 over b, which is same as 4 over 1, which is same as 4. If a is 4 and b is 1, we can find out the diameter. The second statement is also enough. Each statement by itself does the job, and therefore the answer is D. Answer is D. Just like before, we found that the answer is D. Except I felt after I did the after I did the problem yesterday, I felt that yesterday's method was a little bit roundabout method. Now of course I had a choice. Of course I had a choice of not uploading that video at all and just upload this one and this would, this would have been the solution but since I was already done I figured why not share this with you as a second method and show you the first one also. The thought did cross my mind just to delete not to upload the, uh, the previous work at all call this one day 156 and just share this with you. This method by the way is the method that is used in the book this is this is not something original uh, this is something I found in the back of the book. In the back of the book where they give you the explanations the explanations once in a while, they're actually quite nice and handy. This is one of those occasions where, as I said, the method I did was actually a little bit of a roundabout method. I like this one. This, this is more direct. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.